What's going on internet? IG here again today. And today we're looking at part three of the best of series. And today we're gonna be having a look at best instant messaging clients. So we all do lots of instant messaging every day and we want to find the most efficient way to do that on our Linux desktop. And in this series, we've been having a look at the best of applications uh, in across a bunch of categories. We've had a look at music players, web browsers, and today we're looking at instant messaging clients. So let's have a look. Okay, let's start off with the platform defaults. Now, if you have installed either a GNOME or a KDE based desktop, chances are you're probably gonna wind up with one or two of these, uh, the one or the other of these instant messaging clients. The first up that I will mention is Empathy. While this one does look fantastic on a GNOME based desktop, has excellent integration with GTK theming. If you don't know what that means, it basically just means that it looks at home in a GTK based desktop. Uh, all of the, I guess the design of it looks very minimalistic. Uh, it looks very clean and, uh, and it gets the job done in terms of, uh, you know, visibility, in terms of notifications, it integrates very well. And as you can see, the controls are kept pretty minimal. Now you can tie in with your online accounts pretty well. And as it does come as a default in many GNOME based distributions, uh, you do also get the option there of uh, integrating it in with other online account settings. So um, actually at the moment, I've got about three different online accounts all going through Empathy at the same time. Um, so that's pretty intense, but yeah, it definitely handles the multiple accounts like a champ. And uh, in terms of the actual interface, yeah, you're not looking at uh, anything too massive here. Um, you can sort of skin it to look a particular way and it supports all the emojis and all that sort of fun stuff. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna look, uh, it's not gonna look amazing, but it's gonna get the job done and it looks decent in a GNOME desktop. Now, if you're on the KDE side of things, chances are you'll probably be looking at Copete. Now, Copete is the, I guess the default KDE instant messaging program, and it is actually a fair trial. Um, when it comes to the capabilities of Copete, I think it, uh, in many in many cases, um, the KDE alternatives to a GNOME app are gonna trounce it every time in terms of what it can do. So it's highly configurable and uh, and you can merge contact lists. Uh, you've got your various statuses for different accounts. And uh, basically you've just got a lot more control over both how the instant messenger functions and also what kind of style you want. As you can see, you've got different theming styles here uh, that depending on what you like to see, uh, you can get different uh, you can get a different look and feel for the instant messenger, which is fun to see. The other thing is that this one can integrate with quite a few more accounts than uh, than other instant messengers I will mention here, including a wrapper for Skype and also sending SMSs. Now, while the others, you would be able to do this with uh, some plugins, um, this uh, Capete offers it out of the box. So it's definitely getting up there. Um, so, but it's not quite my favorite, um, and so it won't definitely take the crown of the best instant messenger, but in terms of a default, it's not bad at all. So if you see it installed, chances are you could get away with just using this one. The amount of plugins that, that are available for it are very nice, and uh, like I said, if you want to explore those, uh, and you want to explore Compete upon installing a KDE distribution, then I definitely recommend you do so. So that leaves us with two other contenders for the crown spot of best instant messenger. We, we have game. Now, I think that's how you say it. Good gym, good game. Anyway, it's a GTK based instant messaging client. Very minimal, it's very, uh, it stays out of your way. It ties in with the accounts that you want. And uh, the interface doesn't look too bad in my opinion. As you can see, you've got a couple of different options there in terms of your emojis, sending file attachments. It's very user-friendly, so it definitely gets the award for being one of the most user-friendly instant messaging clients that there are out there. And as you can see by some of the um, little tools along the bottom here, you, you can also look at your different chat history um, over the period of time that you've been chatting with a particular person. And, uh, and, and again, notifications are handled like a champ here as well. And just because it is GTK, don't let that put you off. Uh, installing inside another uh, another desktop environment like a Qt or, or KDE desktop. Uh, the integration with GNOME is very nice and it is a very lightweight instant messaging app. It doesn't use up as much resources as what some of the bigger boys do, but it definitely has the kind of function and the kind of, uh, I guess the kind of polish that you'd want to expect from a decent instant messaging client. So finally, we have our kingpin and you probably all saw this coming, but that is Pigeon. 
Pigeon Instant Messaging Client has been the champion of the open source world in terms of instant messaging clients for some time now. And there's a reason for that. It's very skinnable, it's very expandable, but by default, it's very, very simple to get a hold of and install. Not only that, but it's available in almost every single platform you can possibly think of. Uh, and it's got a lot of different options here in terms of what kind of interface you want to use, how you want to uh, handle different conversations. It's even got customizations here for your different sounds, which basically the, the simplicity of Pigeon Instant Messenger out of the box is very well appreciated, but the fact that you can dial it into exactly how you want to interact with it is also really, really nice. When it comes to just sheer feature set and functionality, nothing beats Pigeon Instant Messenger. And I'm sure you guys might have different experiences, but this has definitely been my experience by and large, and that's why you'll find Pigeon on a lot of community-driven distributions as a default install, because it's just that good. So I definitely recommend if you are big on instant messaging, uh, then definitely log in with Pigeon Instant Messenger. So what did you think of my suggestions? As always, leave your comments down in the comment section below and like this video if you found it helpful because that always helps out the channel. Of course, if I didn't mention an instant messaging client that you like, definitely let me know. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus to find out what's coming up next in the best of series. And once again, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, then definitely hit that subscribe button and you'll be getting all of the new best of videos in your inbox very shortly. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.